Good day to all of you. Shout out to our new subscribers and thank you very much to those who follow our uploaded videos. I hope your support will continue. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Let's start. You know how See You Later Gladiator is considered the last classic theatrical Looney Tunes episode to star Daffy Duck and Speedy Gonzales. Well, there was actually another one produced just after it. It was meant to be released in December of 1968 as the real last theatrical episode for the two characters, but it never got past Warner Brothers, Seven Arts Executives. Its name is its curtains for Daffy, and it is a six-minute episode that is supposed to reflect on the impact Daffy's character changes from the 1930s to 1960s had on Daffy himself. Since this is technically a Merry Melodies episode, it starts off with the standard 1968 Warner Brothers, Seven Arts Merry Melodies intro. The opening credits are standard for the time too, using stylized thespian-themed imagery along with a fast, staccatoed, instrumental version of Rudy Valley's You Oughta Be In Pictures. We are then greeted to Speedy running through the desert and shouting his usual Spanish foray of Arriba, Arriba, and Ale. The camera then zooms out to reveal an angry Daffy in pursuit and wielding a shotgun. Typical 1960s Looney Tunes chase music plays in the background. After for missed shots while running, Daffy stops and says, Ooh, I'm gonna get you, rodent. Before firing off another two shots in the same direction, Daffy begins to search around and says, Now where did he go? Speedy creeps up behind him and shouts, Yeehaw! causing Daffy to jump in the air and land on his stomach about two seconds later. Speedy asks, Why are you sleeping, you silly duck? Before he shouts his foray and runs in the other direction, Daffy gets up and says, Hey, get back here, before pursuing him again. Eventually, Daffy chases Speedy into a traditional Mexican house. Speedy runs into the main room and darts into a mouse hole. Daffy continues to chase him and says, You can't hide from me, rodent before running full speed into the wall the mouse hole is in. This causes him to stumble back out of the house while exclaiming, Alu eek o, Alu eek do, before tripping and falling into a white fountain in front of the house as the chase music stops. The music takes a more somber tone as Daffy emerges from the fountain while looking directly at the camera and asks, Where did it all go wrong? Then he gets out of the fountain and walks back into the house slowly with his shotgun dragging behind him before entering the main room and sitting slouched over in a wooden chair looking off to the side. He sighs and says, I used to be the toast of all Hollywood, the little black duck who could take on anyone he wanted and have fun doing it. Now I can't even get rid of Speedy Gonzales. What's wrong with me? Why does it have to be this way? The music fades out as the scene fades to a flashback sequence of three different clips from older Looney Tunes episodes. The first one is from the wise quacking duck where Mr. Meek looks at the camera and says, Say, that's that Daffy Duck. And Daffy appears and replies, You ain't just whistling Dixie. Before hitting him with a pie and running away while repeatedly shouting, Hoo 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 hoo. The next one is from Porky and Daffy where Daffy is running laps around the top of the border fencing of a wrestling ring while repeatedly shouting, Hoo hoo. Hoo hoo. And the last one is from Daffy Duck and Egghead where Daffy looks at the camera and says, I'm not crazy, I just don't give a darn, before somersaulting away in a pond while repeatedly shouting hoo hoo. Hoo hoo each clip is in black and white and lasts about 10 seconds. After this sequence, we return to present day and Daffy sitting on the chair. After a few seconds of silence, Daffy begins shaking as tears well up in his eyes. He then sobs covers his eyes with his hands and whimpers, Oh, the glory days, why have we grown apart? I wish I could go back and live them all again, but I know I can't, my life is getting worse and worse every day, and I can't take it anymore. This little black duck is at the end of his rope. It then cuts to a new angle where Daffy is facing the camera directly, and it zooms right to his face. He takes his hands off his eyes and looks directly at the camera. With tears in his eyes, he sobs and whimpers, I should just end it all, right now. The music starts again and becomes more suspenseful as he takes his shotgun, slowly lifts the barrel so it aims into his chin, and closes his teary eyes. The music stops again 
as the scene cuts away to a kitchen inside the mouse hole where Speedy is sitting at a table with a piece of Swiss cheese on a plate and is about to start eating. A couple seconds later, the same shotgun blast effect from earlier is heard, but louder than before, loud enough to cause Speedy to jump in the air and shriek, yipe. He rushes out of the hole into the main room and asks, what is going on out here? I heard a big kaboom. After a second, his demeanor changes as he gasps and says, oh no. It then cuts to Daffy with his eyes closed and beak slightly open as the music becomes more tragic. He is laying on the floor face up next to his shotgun. His head, torso, and upper arms are featherless and pale skin colored. Black feathers that have come off his body are scattered around the floor near him. This still shot lasts for about five seconds. Then it cuts back to Speedy who takes off his sombrero and holds it to his chest before beginning to sob. He looks toward the camera and says, poor center duck. All he ever wanted was to be happy. The short then fades to black while the music finishes up. The episode ends with the standard 1968 Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies ending, where the phrase of Warner Brothers, Seven Arts cartoon is superimposed on the W7 shield. Longtime producer Robert McKimson is the one who produced and directed this episode. In fact, he was the only person who worked throughout the original run for Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies. He was also one of the main architects of Daffy's original screwball personality from the 1930s and 1940s, even keeping the spirit alive into the early 1960s. But the truth is McKimson hated the direction the animation studio was going in at the time. And he also hated how Deputy Freling Enterprises and eventually Warner Brothers, Seven Arts forced him to conform to their specific style for animated characters including Daffy Duck. It is said that he made this episode in protest of how the executives were stifling his creative freedom, along with giving Daffy the send-off he needs. But the executives were not too happy when they first saw it. In fact, it nearly cost McKimson his job. They threatened to fire him if he released the episode telling him that he could only keep his job if he permanently pulled it from release. He eventually agreed to pull it, and he continued to work for them and Deputy Freling Enterprises until his death in 1977 at 66 years of age. The current whereabouts of any surviving copies are unknown. Some say Warner Bros. Seven Arts had the original physical film destroyed shortly after it was made, while others believe that it is still intact but unrestored and buried deep inside Warner Bros. archives in Burbank, California. It is possible that there are copies surviving on the dark web, but this can neither be confirmed nor denied. The hope is that a copy can finally be brought into the mainstream, and this episode can either be found or fully remade. After all, it is an important part of Looney Tunes history. Whatever the case, hopefully it's not curtains for it. If you want to share your scary story, just email YTStarVlogsHorrorStories at gmail.com.